Well, good morning once again. This is our daily devotional for Tuesday. Um, I'm glad you've joined us this morning. Uh, we're going to be reading a scripture out of Luke chapter 6, and we're going to be looking at verses 32 through 36. Uh, I am going to warn you, these are not some easy verses this morning, uh, but it's something we need to look at because we need to find out what God's Word says and then also put it into practice. So this is what Jesus spoke in Luke 6, 32. He said, if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those from whom you ex uh, expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners expecting to be repaid in full. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. My goodness. Um, you know what? We have a lot of, uh, in our churches today, we have a lot of cliques, uh, e even in the churches, uh, but pretty much with any organization. You have a, a group or a circle of people that you're used to being with, and those are the people that you uh, stay with, and those are the people that you congregate with, those are the people that you uh, fellowship with. Um, and we don't like to go outside of our circle. Uh, same thing, we have a circle of friends. Uh, but I, I would venture to say this morning that each one of us has an enemy. Uh, somebody that either we really, really don't like or really, really don't like us. And the scripture tells us that we are to love them, that we are to pray for them, because that's the heart of Jesus Christ. That's what Jesus Christ would do. That is the only reason. There is no other reason given in the scriptures for us to love our enemy other than Christ did the same thing. Um, in verse 35, he says, uh, Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Need proof? Romans 5.8 says that God showed his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners... Christ died for us. You see, Christ was kind to you when you were ungrateful and wicked. And now that you've been saved, all Christ asks is that you do the same for someone else. Only love can turn the heart of the enemy. Not easy things to hear this morning, but very worthwhile and at the heart of the gospel to love other people the way Christ loved us. Have a good day.